Hey guys, in the previous video we were looking at expanding 1 plus ax to the power of n, but we only looked at a being integer. So you might also come across fractions inside of these brackets. So, in this video we again are looking at expansions of 1 plus ax to the power of n, but now a is a fraction. So, we're going to need this formula again. 1 plus ax to the power of n is 1 plus n choose 1 times ax plus n choose 2 ax all squared plus n choose 3 ax all cubed plus dot 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 so that pattern continues all the way up to ax to the power of n. So copy this down, we're going to need it, let's get cracking. Okay, first up then, we are looking at 1 plus x over 2 to the power of 4. So here, a is 1 half. We've got a nice small power, so I'm going to Pascal's triangle it up. So, we got 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, and then the one that we need, 1, Four, six, four, one. So remember, you don't have to use the triangle. It's just my personal preference when we have small powers. Don't like using calculators. Okay, so we're going to have then one plus. Now, if you're using two's notation, it's four, choose one which is 4, so it's going to be 4 lots of 1 half x, or x over 2, and then plus 4 choose 2, which is 6, so plus 6 lots of x over 2 squared plus 4 choose 3 which is 4 and then that is times x over 2 all cubed and then our final term is x over 2 to the power 4 so if we sharpen that up now We've got 1 plus, well, 4 times x over 2 is 2x. So we got 1 plus 2x. Now we've got 6 times x over 2 all squared. Now x over 2 all squared is x squared over 4. So we've got 6 times x squared over 4. So we then have a common factor of 2 between 6 and 4. So we can say we've got 3x squared over 2. And then our next term, well, x over 2 all cubed is x cubed over 8. So we've got 4x cubed over 8. We can divide that factor of 4 away and we actually just get x cubed over 2. And then our final term, x over 2 to the power of 4 is x to the 4 over 16. So there's our expansion of 1 plus x over 2 to the power of 4. Good times. Okay, next up we're going for 1 minus 1 fifth x to the power of 3. So again, small power, so I'm going to use Pascal's triangle. So, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1. So, those are the coefficients that we need. 1, 3, 3, 1. 
So, we are going to get 1 plus, now if you like using 2's notation, it would be uh, 3 choose 1. So, 3 lot is 3 lots of minus 1 fifth x. Uh, and then it's going to be plus 3 lots of. So again, if you're using 2's, that would be 3 twos 2. So 3 lots of minus 1 fifth x all squared. And then plus minus a fifth x all cubed. So let's sort that out. Well, we got 1. And we've got minus 1 fifth x times 3. So that's going to give us minus 3 fifths x. And we've got 3 lots of minus 1 fifth x squared. So minus 1 fifth x all squared would give us x squared over 25 positively. So we're going to get 3 25th x 3 times 25 3 times 1 25th is 3 25th so we get 3 25th x squared and then our final term well minus 1 fifth x cubed is going to give us minus 1 over 125 x cubed so there's our guy Okay, last example for this video, then we want to find the first four terms of 1 minus 2 thirds x to the power of 9 in ascending powers of x. So, in ascending powers of x, again, means we start with the lowest uh, powered x term and we work up through we get up as we go. So, for this one, a is minus two thirds. So when you're doing these, just make sure you work nice and slowly uh, through it and be very, very careful with your signs. So we got a big power, so I'm not using the triangle. We're going to use twos. So our first term then is going to be one. First term is always the good guy. Okay, so our first term is 1. Then we're going to have 9 choose 1 times minus 2 thirds x. So that's our second term. Then we're going to have 9 choose 2 lots of Two thirds x, sorry, minus two thirds x. Oh, squared. And then our last term is going to be ninety-three. Lots of minus. 2 thirds x all to the power 3. So now we just need to go through and simplify this and now again be very very careful with your signs. So our first term is 1. The second term, well 9 choose 1 is 9. So we got 9 times minus two thirds x. Let's just keep each term sign set of brackets like that. And then we've got plus well nine choose two is thirty six. Now that is multiplying minus two thirds x over squared. 
So first of all, that's going to be positive. Two thirds or minus two thirds squared is four ninths. So we've got thirty six times four ninths x squared. And then for our final term, well, 90 is 3, is 84, and then minus 2 thirds x cubed is going to give us minus 8 27 So we've got 84 times minus 8 27 x cubed. So now we just need to sort that all out. Okay, so our first term is 1. Then we've got plus 9 lots of minus 2 thirds x. Now 9 times minus 2 thirds is minus 18 thirds, which is minus 6. So we get minus 6 x. Now our third term, we've got 36 times 4 ninths. Now 36 has a factor of 9 in it, which can cancel with the bottom. So if we do that, we get 4 times 4 x squared. So we are to get plus 16 x squared. And then for our final term, 84 times minus 8 over 27. Well, stick it in your calculator. And you will get minus 224 ninths uh, as our x cubed coefficient. So, there uh, are our first four terms in that expansion. Hopefully you didn't find this too much trickier, it's just the numbers are a little bit more fiddly, a bit more of a pain in the ass, because we're dealing with fractions. Okay, that's it for now.